Hello everybody, here I am again with another awesome video and today I'll be showing you <clears throat> some cool stuff. We were going down the street and I see that there's this street light that's been hit by a car and fallen over. Um, which was a good thing in this case. Go around and I see that the light's still there. And it looks like this. So yeah, this thing is actually pretty big. See right there, comparison. But it's much thinner than the normal street lights. That's what it looks like from the bottom. Really alien like design. I already took out all the, <coughs> all the insides. See, it got broken off. But um, this is the panel that was on the lights. Really nothing underneath. I'll show you how big the actual light is. That's it. Just a bunch of LEDs. And that's how thin it is. That's about a millimeter and a half, maybe two. I mean, this is really cool. From this stuff compared to this stuff, you know, this takes 100, 480 volts. You see it right there. 180 watts. And this takes 120 volts or 400 watts. But um, it's not too hard to turn it on. So to turn the light on, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to put on your safety. Make sure you can't, so you don't have a connection with the ground. And you're also going to need your glove. So next thing you're going to do is right here, you see these two nice wires. So, eh, you know, this goes to the dryer. With the, no, nobody needs that. So, unplug that. Push it on the side. Now, uh, Spoke to an electrician, he told me it doesn't matter really which way this stuff goes on to, what side it goes on to. Yeah, that's pretty bright. It's actually burning my lens. <laughs> that's how you do it. That's kind of all that, all that's really to it. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, like, comment, subscribe, it helps, and as always, you will see me in the next video. Bye-bye.